Hi guys, I'm Becky. Welcome back to Wellness in the Pelvis. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist here to help you understand more about your body, especially your pelvic health. Today we are going to talk about what I am bringing in my hospital bag. So you can, can see here, we got the situation here, 30, almost 32 weeks pregnant. So it's time to start thinking about what am I going to bring to the hospital with me this time? Like every first time mom, I brought way too much to the hospital. And now as a second time mom, pelvic floor physical therapist, and a self-proclaimed minimalist, I'm only bringing the essentials and maybe another extra thing or two. So let's shed some light on what's going on down there. And I thought I packed the bare minimum last time and let me tell you i brought way too much we had our backpacks we had our duffel bags and we had some grocery bags and that felt like not a lot but then when we had to carry all that home plus the new human it felt like a lot <laughs> this time i plan on only bringing my backpack and we'll see hopefully there's room to spare in there even here are the 11 things that i plan on bringing to the hospital with me in my bag and some of these honestly may get the boot. The two most important things that I am bringing are in my hands. If I show up to the hospital with nothing else, I don't care. This is what matters to me. A heating pad, just a regular electric heating pad. They don't have these things in the hospital. They're okay. You check with your own hospital or wherever you're birthing, but boy, does it help calm things down in labor. Back labor, front labor, side labor, wherever. You're gonna have aches and pains, heat helps. And then in my little bag here, I have suction cups. And so if you are familiar all with um, suction cupping, as far as like therapeutic medicine goes, that's what these are, but they are silicone. So you can see they come in different shapes and sizes. And um, they're so easy to use. They're so effective. These saved my life during labor. With my daughter, I did have some back labor. And so my husband and doula would put them on my back in different places and move them around. And it just pulls some of that tissue away. It feels really good. It kind of distracts the muscles, distracts your brain, which is good because that has a lot going on anyways. Um, so I'm definitely bringing these as a pelvic floor PT. The next two things I would qualify as equally as important as the first two, but I could survive without them. I would maybe not thrive. And so I will have not even these earbuds. These are my husband's. Um, he listens to music when he runs. I don't even own earbuds. I'm going to buy some really cheap knockoff AirPod things that I'm going to put into my ears. Um, not even to listen to music, but to listen to my Hypno Babies soundtrack. And if you don't know what Hypno Babies is, I'll link it in the description. But it's basically guided meditation to help get this out of the way so this can birth a child. Incredibly helpful. But I'll want something to listen to it that way. I don't have to have it like on a speaker or something in the background and have other people distract me. Just get into the zone. Just after Hypno Babies, um, the next most important thing is my chapstick. Um, yeah, I don't live without that. They probably have some of that kind of stuff at the hospital, but I just carry Aquaphor with me wherever I go, so I'm going to want it. We'll see what happens when I go into labor, where I'm at, when I'm wearing, but my plan is to wear into the hospital what I'm also wearing out of the hospital. And so I've got a skirt and a scoop neck t-shirt. Nice thing about these is after you're done having the baby, of course, you're in postpartum, it's really easy for docs and providers to come in and do the exams that they need to do with you wearing a skirt. Plus it's just real easy to pull it up and on or however you need to move things around to go to the bathroom. And it's just, you can move well in them and you don't feel so grungy. It's nice like a skirt makes you actually kind of feel like you're put together. So wearing a dark skirt because things might happen to it. And then the scoop neck tee is important because second time mom, I don't really care what it takes to nurse a baby, 
but um, if I have a shirt on because I have a guest coming or something, I plan on doing skin to skin otherwise, but I can have a shirt on and I can pull it down real lazy to nurse the baby. Otherwise, I probably just won't have a shirt on, but that's what I plan on wearing to the hospital and that's what I plan on going home in too. The second to last thing is something that I didn't do last time, but I am going to do this time. Um, they're called silverettes. These are basically nipple protectors. They're not nipple shields um, that are used for nursing. They are used for in between nursing just to help give that skin a break. Silver has lots of really great healing properties and I've only heard amazing things about these. So, um, instead of using like the hydrogel nursing pads, I plan on trying the silverettes this time and we'll see how that goes. And then the last thing I'm definitely bringing to the hospital, um, is an outfit for the baby, of course. <laughs> uh, but I will bring a newborn outfit and a zero to three month outfit. Those take up like no space, but just one sleep and play for the baby to come home. And I don't really care what they look like because they're probably going to poop on the way home anyways. And then lastly, a couple of optional things that I'm debating on whether I'm going to bring to the hospital or not. We'll see what happens. Um, one is my toothbrush, duh. But in a pinch, someone can get me a toothbrush or they have that kind of stuff there. It's just nice to like have your teeth feel really clean. And I'm a pretty low maintenance person, but I do like having my hair not a crazy frizzy mess like it is today. <laughs> um, so I'm bringing my flat iron with me just to help me feel a little bit put together. This is super extra is I'm bringing my letter board. I'm not 30 weeks pregnant anymore, but uh, that will be updated for when we take our next photo. But so that way I can put a little birth announcement on there. If I do it at the hospital, great. If I do it at home, fine. But that's, I'm maybe going to bring that. And the last two things that are super, super optional, we might bring our Bluetooth speaker. It was nice to have. We'll see. And then some grocery bags to carry all the extra baby and postpartum stuff home in. But I'm probably going to have room in my backpack, so I probably won't even need to do that. They will be empty when we come into the hospital, not full. That's it. That's all I'm bringing this time. And most of that's kind of optional. As long as I have cups and a heating pad, I'm good. So what questions do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for checking out my work, guys. We'll see you next time.